Hey guys, what is up? JMAKHD here, coming at you with part 3 of K9 web filtering tutorial. This is the block screen of K9 when it blocks filtering. Obviously, you know, it's blocked because I typed in a malware source or spyware source. You can allow the category for 15 minutes, allow the site for so many minutes, change your settings or request a site review. Now, if you request a site review, it'll basically check it and then you can add it to another um, category. The only issue with this is, is it doesn't send it to your parent or your boss or whoever maintains the K9 web protection. It sends it to the actual uh, foundation, the Blue Collar Systems Inc. Uh, all rights receded of 2006-2009. That's the, that was a mouthful, but um, it sends it to them to be reviewed. So, I mean, you can you can type any site in here and check it. I mean, Facebook dot com you know you can check that it'll uh, high profile website and can't be disputed and all this but basically I want to show you this lock screen because we're doing blocking effects so there's a bark when it uh, when you get to a block screen it barks so obviously if I reload the page you get that nice little bark there don't really like it myself show admin option obviously these are the administration options on the page um, if you save your settings and then close that, if I reload it, you'll see it just it doesn't show any administration options. Whereas if I uh, allow the administration options, you'll see they'll appear right back up. Um, well, HTTPS blocks. If you don't know what HTTPS means, it means Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure use it for secure networks, secure networking and stuff like that. Uh, you just want to leave it on, it prevents overriding. So say if you want if say if you block social networking and you wanted to go to Twitter and you put http dot twitter dot com then it would uh, uh, it would block it. But if you typed in w uh, https twitter dot com then it would override the K9 program and actually not allow you to do that so it won't block HTTPS's and most social networking sites now for security reasons and hacking and all the rest of this they use um, secure servers so that's HTTPS um, on so I just leave that on and then you've got the engaged timeout option so if you get five you know bad like say if I block the category hacking, if you try and access five hacking sites within one hour, decline that web access for like five minutes, save them settings, um, obviously it says saved, and it'll just decline it if you hit five of these pages before then. So tune in to the next tutorial when I'm doing URL keywords and safe search. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments.